I mean, society is very different today, isn't it? We're very, very much we're very much more judgmental about yeah. those things. I think a lot of people would say we've moved on. Do you think it's right we've moved on from the days of page three? Um, the thing is with page three is I always felt it was like just silly. It was just boobs. It was fun. I mean, the amount of filth that you can see, that kids can see at the touch of a button on their phones now. Oh, that's a fair point. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's really, I think there's far more damaging stuff out there now and even on social media with some of the kids, you know. So um, I, I just guess it's a different so world. A Everything's a, so offensive. So is it all a bit of a double standard in some ways? I, I think so. I was actually living in Los Angeles at the time they stopped page three, so I didn't even know it was happening. Happening. I came back to England, yeah. opened the paper, and I was like, oh, not there anymore. But it gave me a lot of good life lessons. You know, I learnt um, not to take things at face value. I, I don't just uh, well, listen to what I hear. I research it, you know, people's work. I need to see actions, not just words. And I also learnt about the media and how the media can create stories. So, for example... Um, I would do silly things with photographers. I'd, I'd meet them in the week. I'd pretend to be falling out of a nightclub drunk and then he would sell the pictures at the weekend. So we were setting things up. Um, another thing, I laid by a pool reading a self-help book, which we just got as a prop and it made a story. So I see how the media can create stories. So you take the Canada trucker protest. Yeah. And, you know, and they, there's some guy has a picture of somebody walking through with his face fully covered holding a Nazi flag. I mean, was it set up? You know, I don't, I just, I find it hard to believe that those things were actually genuine.